What's poppin', chat? Hope all you're doing great. We had an exciting week of football in week two of the Delusionals Dynasty. So we're going to jump right into it, get some breakdowns. A little breakdown of how the video is going to go because this is only the second time I'm doing it and we have a few little new things. So since we had a game of the week that we selected, we're going to jump right into that, do the, the week two game of the week uh, start and go over that game. Then we'll do the breakdowns of all the other games. Still don't have clips for a bunch of them, but we're working on getting that. Uh, the upcoming videos will have more and more. And then we'll get into the uh, upcoming week, week three's game of the week. So let's jump right into it. Firstly, we're going to jump right into the week two game of the week. We had a heated rivalry between two cousins, Chet and Cameron. Uh, Cameron's FIU Panthers, you know, I say. And Chet's Indiana Hoosiers. Chet starts off the game with his favorite play in his playbook, the Shock H option, to burn Cameron's defense on the opening play. On Chet's following drive, Cameron manages to get a pick six to even out the game. Chet then took an even bigger lead, but Cameron then busted a huge play that almost ended in disaster thanks to showboating, while down by 14, but ends up with a Panthers touchdown. Cameron then finally found a jet touch pass in his playbook in the Wild Panther playbook to tie up the score at 21. Chet then ran his favorite play of all time again, the Shock H option, to burn Cameron's press defense again to take the lead back 28 to 24. Cameron then responded on the following kick up, kickoff with a 103 yard kickoff return to the house to retake the lead. After a few more scores, Cameron then tries to force a throw before half for the pick six to go into half down 42 to 31. After a few solid drives in the second half, Cameron breaks a nice crossing route to keep the game close. And with the game on the line, down by six with a minute and a half left, Chet gets another pick six on Cameron for the dagger. And once the game was well out of reach, Chet punted with less than 10 seconds, and Cameron's returner took it to the house for his second return of the day. But unfortunately, it didn't matter as the Ch as Chet's Indiana Hoosiers took down Cameron's FIU Panthers 62 to 56, and ending Cameron's predicted undefeated season at just one game. Next, we're going to jump right into the, the normal breakdowns. We're starting with Wade's Bowling Green. Wade and his boys took their second loss of the season, falling to the Fighting Illini 36-39. Wade's four turnovers seemed to really cost him a chance at getting him into the win column for the first time this season. Next, we jump to Jacob's Baylor Bears. And unfortunately, Jacob didn't stream this week, which is bad news, as we have a new record score for the season. Jacob's Baylor Bears beat FCS Midwest 119 to 24, putting up 1,296 total yards in an absolute blowout and the new highest score for the Delusionals League. Next, we jump over to Austin's Old Dominion Monarchs and in a huge upset, they took down the Ohio State Buckeyes on the road in Columbus. Old Dominion was outgained by 60 yards by Ohio State, but managed to put up 14 points in the fourth quarter to pull off the huge upset in Columbus. Next, we jump to Chris's Sun Devils of Arizona State, who took care of business against FAU with a score of 52 to 20. Chris's boys outgained the Owls by nearly 200 yards and only gave up two picks, but still managed to cruise this game. We then jump to Nashville, where Cess Vandy Commodores got their first one of the season against the Sharks of FCS Northwest, 44 to 8. The Commodores put up nearly 700 total yards to handily take care of business. Now we head over to see the Mean Green of North Texas take down the Ball State Cardinals 34 to 31. Nick's team put up a yard shy of 500 total yards and 
had an even turnover differential to squeak by, but a win's a win, and I know that Nick and his boys will take that. Next, we check out the absolute throttling that the Rice Owls handed to the NIU Huskies. Coach Benny had his boys firing on all cylinders with over 900 total yards and zero turnovers to send the Huskies home with their tails between their legs. We then had two bye weeks as Jeff Stanford Cardinal needed a breather after not taking their foot off the gas last week, and Cameron's Colorado State Rams took the week off as well. And finally, we jumped to Birmingham for some gameplay footage of UAB versus Wisconsin. The Blazers kept it very run heavy today as they punched their first touchdown in from one yard out. They followed that up with another one yard touchdown to retake the lead 17 to 14. Their next touchdown, you guessed it, another run from one yard out to keep up the ground and pound scores. And then with less than two minutes left, Tyler dumped it off to his running back to ice the game and seal the win 23 to 21. The next segment we have is the game of the week. Each week, we will select one game to highlight for the upcoming week and get some quotes from the coach slash coaches on their expectations. We have one of the toughest games to date in the Delusionals League as the Rice Owls will go to Oxford, Mississippi to play the Rebels. We reached out to Rice's offensive coordinator, Benny Whiteside, to see what he had to say about his upcoming matchup. Tough matchup this week on both sides of the ball. Ole Miss might have the best team money can buy on paper. It remains to be seen. As far as Rice U... I like where we currently are on offense. I think we will continue to lean heavily on do-it-all back Dean Connors. Defensively, we found a groove last week and have momentum going into week three. We'll challenge them to beat us deep and do our best to get after the passer. Owl up. It's a great take right there by Benny, and let's see if his boys can keep it up and get that huge upset over in Oxford. And that'll do it for week two's breakdown. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and I really appreciate all the love I've been getting on these videos. Uh, keep tuning in because we'll keep pumping out these videos every few days. Should have week threes coming pretty soon. Um, and if y'all want to see more College Football 25 content, I got plenty more coming. Go check out Sports Scramble Podcast. They've been streaming most of their games. I know uh, Austin hasn't been streaming his lately, but he should be getting back on it. Big ZD. So I appreciate all of y'all again. Like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank you and see you.